Welcome to the franchise where I attempt to become the greatest NFL head coach of all time. Season 1 didn't end as planned, but I think we built a great foundation for the future of the franchise, and hopefully we can compete for a Super Bowl here in Season 2 and get our first of 7 rings. But we're going to have to make some massive decisions in the offseason before we get there. We had nobody retire, which is a good start. There's a couple other big names like Aaron Rodgers retiring this offseason. Now the big thing here is you head into the offseason. That's when all the players regress and progress. So it's officially time to see how some of our big names are looking heading into the offseason. Oh no, dude. Derrick Henry was absolutely destroyed. Lost his superstar development and just so many of his stats went down. Like he's all the way down to an 80 overall. Which definitely means his next season without a shadow of a doubt will probably be his last as a Titan. And I hope to God I can get this man a ring. He deserves it so badly. Now outside of that, we did have DeAndre Hopkins go down a bit. But at the same time, he has a skill point upgrade. So so I think DeAndre Hopkins for now is going to remain a Titan, but I think we do have to offer him a new contract. I mean, still, even though he's 33, 83 overall still can be super valuable for us. And this man right here, Xavier Worthy, I think will be the future of this franchise at the receiver position, all the way up to an 81 overall heading into his sophomore campaign. So by the time DeAndre Hopkins does retire or at least leave the franchise, I think we're in good hands with this superstar. Like, Will Levis had a really big year last year, so I don't really understand why he only went up a few overall. Now, outside of that, we did have Jeff Simmons upgrade his superstar, which is always great. And if I'm not mistaken, Christian Wilkins also just upgraded the superstar, which is big for our defensive line. We might need to look for a new outside linebacker here because Arden Key is starting to go backwards. So by next season, he's going to be below a 70. But as mentioned, some of the players you see in the lineup might not even be a tight next year because we still have some big decisions to make in terms of contract renegotiations. And at least some of our practice squad players improved a little bit. We're gonna have roughly $60 million to spend this offseason, and we have 17 players ready to renegotiate their contracts. Now, Daxton Hill 100% is gonna be our free safety of the future, although it looks like he regressed down the star from Superstar. Why? The dude's only 24. But regardless, we are gonna accept his fifth-year option without a shadow of a doubt. And probably the same exact thing for Traylon Burks, although he isn't really progressing as much as I'd like. Oh, probably the most important re-signing of the offseason. We've got to bring back Ryan Stonehouse. Hopefully this is enough, and it is. Now, Grover Stewart, he can go like he's getting on up there in age, 80 overall. I think we can do better. Now, D-Hop, I do want to re-sign him, although he has zero interest in returning. Now, I'd probably only want to offer him a one-year contract. Now, the problem is I don't know if he'd accept that. I will be willing. He put up 1,500 yards last year, so I'll give him some big money. I just don't know if he's going to accept it. We'll try regardless. And it looks like DeAndre Hopkins is going to be playing for a new team next year, unless we can actually re-sign him in free agency. But this could be a pretty big L because he had 1,500 yards for his last year. Now, Dylan here, like, he's some good depth. Like, hopefully this is enough. Well, it wasn't. So outside of getting our punter, this has been a pretty trash offseason already. Jeremy Reeves, I know we had a ping pong class together, but we're looking okay at safety right now. I don't think we need to give him any money. Now, Tyler Harold, This man has 99 speed. I will give you a seven-year contract. Keep you around for forever. I'll even bump this up a little bit. Tyler Harrell with his 99 speeds, a titan for life. Now, honestly, the only other player I'm interested at all in bringing back is Daniel Brunskill, who's been a pretty solid guard for us. Now, I'll offer him one year deal, but I don't think I want him to be our starter. So I think I'm just going to give him his base offer, hopefully he accepts, and he's coming back. So, again, hopefully he's not our starter, but I'm glad he's back. And again, I feel like I'm okay with all these guys leaving. Still gives us $50 million to spend in free agency. And I'm hoping this is a pretty solid free agency class, and so maybe we can add some superstars. Here it is, the moment of freaking truth. And, okay, there, there's some absolute studs out there. Oh my gosh, I am gonna have some 
tough decisions to make. For starters, like Creed Humphrey would be a great long-term center. We also have Connor Williams, but he could be moved to guard potentially. Like this could be a massive move for our offensive line, which wasn't that great last year. Looks like we're tied with three other teams and I cannot let the Colts and Texans get this guy. So you know what, Creed? I'll make it a five-year deal. I'll bump the salary up to about $5 million a season and I'll even bump his bonus up to about $12 million. You know what? A little more. A little more. I want this signing big time. And we're officially sole owners of first place for Creed Humphrey Services. Now, of course, we need a DeAndre Hopkins replacement. Now, the question is, though, do I go after Jalen Waddle? Like, the man wants to join us. Like, I feel like I'd be doing a disservice if we didn't give him an offer. Bro, this would make for such a good receiver core. Such a good core. And it's the Cardinals who are bad us for his services, so I might need to bump the offer up just a little bit, which I am willing to do for a good receiver like Jalen Waddle. which now we're in first place for him. Now, at this point, I do want to scout the market and see if I can find any bargains. Now, we do need outside linebacker pretty badly, but there's really nobody that I'm that interested in. Maybe Pete Warner. Maybe I can move him to the left side, Like this is the only player that I have any interest in. So we'll just give him exactly what he's looking for. We're tied with the Bucks. If we don't get him, we don't get him. We can draft still. Javon Holland would be great, but we already have a little stud in Daxton Hill, so I don't think he's worth the money. We can't afford him anyway. Now, since Michael Pierce wants to join us so bad, do I give him a little one-year deal? Because our depth at deep tackle is pretty rough, although I don't think we can afford him. I'm going to have to bump this offer down quite a freaking bit. And we are his only offer, so hopefully that means we will be able to sign him. So if we can somehow get all four of these guys, I think this would be an incredible free agent class. And I guess at this point, all it's left to do is click the freaking button. Looks like at this point, Pierce and Pete Warner, they haven't decided. And we did land Creed Humphrey, at least. Unfortunately, though, Jalen Waddle chose the Cardinals. What do you mean? So at this point, dude... I think my best bet at wide receiver is to offer Amari Cooper something. Because we got to replace DeAndre Hopkins. Maybe I can just offer him the base two-year contract he's looking for. And we're tied with a bunch of other teams. If we don't get Cooper, man, we might actually be screwed. Hasn't accepted a contract yet, so we'll click the button one more time. And Amari Cooper did pick us over everybody else, so at least we did get our DeAndre Hopkins replacement. We got a little younger, not much, a little younger, and we got quite a bit better in terms of overall. And we did also get both Michael Pierce and Pete Warner, so I guess a pretty solid free agent class. Now, I do think I want to try and make a few moves before the draft. The one player I think we want to go ahead and get some value for is probably Harold Landry, which would save us about $10 million. He's declining in overall, and he's just probably going to continue to get worse. So if I can get anything for him, bro, I will take it. Early offers Johnny Wilson, so I might have to do some manual labor here. Also, honestly, wouldn't mind getting rid of Arden Key either. And also, young Nicholas Petit Ferrer, I'm probably not going to re-sign him. He's not going to see any playing time for us. I can always get somebody else on a one-year deal for a little bit cheaper. Alec Pearson, some sevenths. Yeah, dude, I I got to get more value than this. Imagine we could actually finesse Sam Laporta out of this deal and it's, it's not close. I mean, I guess that's fair. Uh, Falcons are another team that could be potential suitors, but like they don't have anybody that I feel like we could realistically grab. So do I just settle for a draft pick? Like I have no idea if this would be accepted and it's not close. But if we get the Lions second round pick, I'm not quite sure. I mean, it's a little bit of interest, but quite a bit to go. So do I just try like trading up like a fourth round pick and it's in the green, but uh, I don't know if we'll be able to actually make this happen. So can we just actually straight up go for the Falcons second round pick? I mean, it's the 61st. Got a feeling this might be accepted and it was. So we do somehow, someway get a second round pick out of this package, which I'll take. Definitely a tough move to make, but I feel like we could drag an outside linebacker to replace those two guys. Like, honestly, I'm kind of thinking this draft might actually be more important than last year's. You don't pick until number 19. I do want to see who goes number one. They go Dylan Goldberg out of Ohio State. Now, if a player like Terry Monkfrey could fall to me, like, we need an outside linebacker bag. Markwell Stackhouse would be 
great. Like, what are the odds, though, one of those guys actually fall to me? Maybe a Brett Watkins, although... So I think I'm actually going to simulate one by one until an outside linebacker actually goes. Because I want to see if there's actually... Oh, no. Dylan Skinner's gone. Now, when Terry Mumphrey gets taken, if he goes before Markel Stackhouse, like, that's when I feel like I need to panic. This guy actually looks insane, dude. Markel Stackhouse looks like an absolute monster that I want on my team badly. Just don't want to trade up too much if I can avoid it. And there goes Montfrey. Oh, no, dude. Surely the Saints won't take an outside linebacker. They go, they go Stackhouse. Oh, I'm sick to my stomach, dude. I guess at this point, man, we just go ahead and simulate my pick. Like, there's no way we were going to get him. Who the heck is left for us here at pick number 19? A lot of quarterbacks that I really don't need. There are some outside linebackers that we could use. Maybe a long-term defensive tackle. Like, I don't know if this Brett Watkins guy is good enough for me to take here. Like, he's got some good stats mixed in there, but some sketchy ones, too. And this Jason Campbell fellow, like, is he worth a pick here? Like, he's strong. We also need corner, too. I could just say screw it and go corner because this Rudy Brick guy actually looks pretty insane. Man coverage is an A. Zone also could be solid. Bro, I might just go corner here. Say screw it and maybe take an outside linebacker if they're available in the second round. You know what, Rudy Britt? We need depth at the corner. You're going to be the selection. He has hidden development, and he looks like he can be an absolute monster. He is 6'3", dude. We might have just found our new cornerback number one. Hopefully, one of those outside linebackers will be left here in the second round for us, which, unfortunately, it looks like absolutely not. There's some other talented players, but I don't think they're worth a second-round pick. Although, this Clayton Carter guy actually looks good. I don't know if he's worth a second round pick, but like I feel like he's such a big position to need. Clayton, I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger on you. He has no more development, but that doesn't mean he'll be horrible. Now, we still do have another pick here in the second round, so we still get some talent here. Now, there's some super quality tight ends in this draft class. Like, this guy looks like an absolute stud. Look at all those A's. Now, do I go ahead and take him? Or do I wait a little bit because this guy also looks incredible. Eric Hawkins. Look at those ratings. Oh, that's tough, dude. You know, if I see a player that I want outside a tight end, I might wait until next round to see if I can grab Hawkins. The only player I feel like I might would take... It's a guy like Damian O'Neal because we do need depth that he can tackle. We need a long-term starter there. I just don't know if he's better than that tight end. Some other non-scheme fits that we could potentially take later, but are they good enough? You know what? Screw it, dude. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and take the tight end. And Juan Hackett, I hope to God you're the right pick here, man. He's not the most athletic in the world, but I feel like he's going to be super high rated for this spot in the draft. And he's hit development. So we might have actually just got ourselves our future tight end one. Now, hopefully one of the guys I was looking at that we didn't take there is still left here in the third round because we still have two more picks here. And the defensive tackle I was looking at still left. Like... Do I just go ahead and pull the trigger on Matt Fulton? Like, if anything, good depth piece here. Matt Fulton is a hidden development player in the third round, bro. We've hit on back-to-back -back studs. And we still have another pick left here in the third round. I don't even know what to do here. Apparently, the wide receiver class is absolute trash. That's all that's left at the top of the board, and nobody's taken. Okay, there's still some talented offensive line, and it doesn't hurt to take depth here. Like, look at that. A lead block, A pass block, finesse, possibly has A awareness. Max Downing, you're not a scheme fit? I'll take you regardless, not a hidden development or anything, but he could be a pretty decent overall for a late third round pick. Now here in the fourth round, man, this is where champions are made. Now I said we do need outside linebacker pretty bad. Like I might as well stack up another one. He might not be the greatest in the world, but could develop into something half decent. He's hidden development. I don't think he's going to be a high overall, but we, we did hit on the development somehow. Absolutely no way we hit on another gym here in the fifth round. I'm not going to lie. I know we don't need running back, but Derrick Henry is probably not going to be a Titan after next season. We could use depth. And this guy looks good. He looks really good to be left in the draft. He's a projected undrafted free agent. But I'm going to take my shot on him. Look at that, dude. He's not the fastest in the world. But what is going on right now? If we hit on another gym here in the sixth round, I'm telling you, this draft class has got to be glitched. Which this is our last pick. So hopefully we can potentially end it on a bang. There's just normally not that much talent left here in the sixth freaking round. I think I'm just going to go with the best available offensive lineman. And this guy's got some stats that definitely pop out to me. He fell down the board for some reason. 
had a pretty okay combine, but I mean, B awareness, A impact blocking as a six round pick. I don't think it'll be hidden development or anything, but it could be a decent overall. Yeah, normal. Now officially time for the moment of freaking truth. Hopefully that draft class was an absolute trash. Okay, dude, like our outside linebacker in the second round was an absolute dud, but this corner that we got in the first round, I think was the right pick. 77 overall, and we got a lot of super high rated players for the mid rounds. Overall, not like an insane, insane class, but I'm still happy with it. Okay, those outside linebackers weren't nearly as high overall as what I thought. Like a 75 would have been great, but like we got one of the higher rated players in the entirety of the first round. So I have to admit, I am loving the way our offense is looking right now. Running back, yeah, I know Derek Henry just dipped quite a bit, but we got some great weapons, and at this point, we might have like a top five offensive line in the league. My only worry, man, is the development of Will Levis. He threw for 4,500 yards last year and only went up two overall. Like, Madden thinks he's so bad, they won't even shine the spotlight on him. Don't want to move on from Will Levis, but if it eventually becomes a problem, dude, we might have to. Now, I'm really wondering here, before the season starts, I might need to try and make a move or two and try to improve the outside linebacker position because, like I said, it's weak. I know he made some moves but I feel like we can do better maybe at right outside linebacker brother there's a 73 overall fullback undrafted free agent don't mind if I do he has superstar development too what on earth am I looking at um he's gonna be a titan for a long time don't know how I'm gonna use him but I'm glad he's a titan unfortunately there's really no talent at outside linebacker left now we definitely do need depth at defensive end so a guy like maybe Carl Lawson I feel like will be a pretty solid depth piece oh and do we bring Danica go Autry back? Like, why the heck not? Dude was so good when he played as a Titan before. Maybe the last move I make here is add a little left guard for some depth. Uh... Titus Howard. Like, why the heck not? And we officially got our guys, fellas. Zayvon Collins coming over for the Cardinals for Sean Murphy Bunning. So our young cornerback, a first-round pick, can get some playing time. Daniel Brunskill and Hassan Haskins. I think this is going to be a pretty big improvement. Yeah, the outside linebacker position looks so much better. How in the world did Daxton Hill get hurt in the freaking offseason? But although the overall isn't the highest either, like, I really am liking our cornerback core right now. All young guys from top to bottom, all fast, all speedy, all talented. So honestly, I'm really liking the way our team's looking heading into this season. I'm telling you right now, we are absolutely dominant in the preseason. Now, instead of DeAndre Hopkins, we have Amari Cooper trying to help out young lad McGonkey, which gave him a 1200 XP boost, which is always appreciated. And how poetic, dude. Dicker the kicker gets himself an upgrade here. Now, this preseason, we have to cut 11 players. It's telling me to cut Derrick Henry, dude. I am not doing it. Like, why would you even tell me to do that? Deshaun Corbin, don't even know how you got in the team, so you're getting caught. I'm gonna move every single one of these guys to the practice squad if I can, because, like, why not? Except Tyler Harrell with his 99 speed. He's staying on the active roster always. Joey Blunt, this isn't 420, so you're getting cut. Now, I'm not gonna move our guy with hidden development to the practice squad. I just don't feel like that's a good omen. Now, Mike Brown, you can go, dude. Now, all that's left is one more move, and I guess our youngster left guard, John Hatcher, you can move to the practice squad. Now, the all-important season goal here, if I mess this up and we fail, like, I could always get fired, which is, is not good at all. But I do want to say we're going to make the playoffs. We did last year, barely. But I feel like we for sure got better in the offseason, so I think we should be able to make it back to the playoffs this year. Not going to lie, pretty freaking proud that we've already brought this team all the way up to an 83 overall across the board. Stay in balance like it should be. I mean, I have faith in this offense, like, the big question to me it's just the defense like it's talented i think we should do well but that's what i thought last year but at this point my friends i think it's time to go ahead and simulate to the mid-season and hope to god this year we were 500 on the dot last year hopefully this year we can be a game or two over 500 brother we are two and five what do you mean oh no dude this might be an absolute disaster bro we went on a four game losing streak what is going on with our offense Offense. We got shut out against the Colts. Like, what is happening? William is struggling, dude. 1,500 yards, seven touchdowns to just seven picks. Derrick Henry, massive regression, dude. Down to 3.6 yards per carry. Like, we can't do anything on the ground this year.
And, like, if we don't win it this season, if like, we don't make the playoffs, like, this is Derrick Henry's last chance to win it all as a tight. Honest to God, dude, I, just, I would rather not let him down. We have Traylon Burks leading the squad with him as 500 yards. Amari Cooper's definitely not having the season DeAndre Hopkins did. And still, man, just a team that struggles to get to the freaking quarterback. Jeff Simmons, our highest rated player on the entire team, with one sack the entire year. I mean, at least we do have some pretty useful upgrades here. Now, we could go ahead and renegotiate some contracts here in season. We have about $63 million to play with, and there's some big players, bro. Some big players we gotta resign. Let's start with Roger McCreary, because I want this guy back badly. I'll give you a, a I'll give him I'll give you a six-year contract, dude. That's gotta be enough, right? He's gotta freaking think it over more. Derrick Henry will probably be like a 75 overall at the end of the next season, so I, I don't think he'll be back. Kayla Farley, he's a speedy young corner that has star development. Like, I don't think it would be a bad thing to bring him back. Definitely has interest in rejoining us, and he's the first person to actually accept us in season. Now, Monty Hooker's our starting strong safety. He should be solid for like another three seasons or so, so I'm gonna offer him just then. And he says yes to things. Thank God. Now, Chig, I want him to stick around for a long time, and so does he. Again, I wouldn't mind, like, giving a four-year contract worth quite a bit. And yours truly, the GM wizard, was correct. Now, Michael Pierce, he can go because I just feel like he's gonna drop too much in overall for us. And absolutely, we've got to bring our superstar fullback back. You know what, dude? I'll give you a six-year contract. I want you to be here for a long, long freaking time. And he thinks the offer was perfect. Now, outside of all of that, we still have 36 million to spend, and I would like to bring Christian Wilkins back. Hopefully it won't cost us way too much though. What about just simply a one-year contract extension? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that's a good enough offer. And that's not because he wants us to up the years. Like why couldn't you have just said yes? I think that's going to be all the contract negotiating we're doing in season. But as we simulate this bad boy to the end of the regular season, we're going to have to have a massive second half to have any chance at making the playoffs. Here we freaking go, dude. Can we somehow squeeze our way into the playoffs once again? No, we did. We went 8-9. We got so close. Gosh dang it, dude. That means for the first time, you guys are at least going to get two seasons in today's episode. And worst thing, man, is that means Derrick Henry is more than likely not going to win himself a ring with the Tennessee Titans. That is tough, man. That is hard to freaking swallow. Which means next season will probably be handing the reins off to Tajay Spears, which he's a great young running back. Same time, man, it's just not the same as Derrick Henry. Our offense went from like top five in the league to 22nd. I don't know how, we just got better. And our defense sucks too. Like, what? Happy. I mean, that's really not a bad season at all from Will Levis. He only went up one overall all season. Like, what am I supposed to do with him? Literally in two seasons, he's had two pretty good years. Golly, what am I supposed to do? And see, man, the running back situation was just an absolute mess. Dude, we didn't even get a thousand yards on the season. At least Traylon Burks is half decent now, finally eclipsing a thousand yards for the first time in his career. Very disappointed in Amari Cooper, though. Like, definitely did not put up the numbers DeAndre Hopkins did. I just want to know what the heck I have to do to get a team that can get to the freaking quarterback. Oh, what do you know? Patrick Mahomes wins another MVP. <laughs> Arthur Smith winning coach of the year. At least we did have our young cornerback come in the top five in defensive rookie of the year voting. Like, that's literally, like, the highlight of the entire season. Patrick Mahomes threw for 35 touchdowns to only one interception. Like, what even is that? Like, why? That's just not real. I mean, I guess we can be happy Lamar got himself a ring this season. But, like, at this point, dude, I've got to win seven Super Bowls in, like, 25 seasons. I just don't know if that's even possible. So, some big players retired this season. You got Jason, Kelsey, Cooper Cup, Aaron Donald. Oh, my God, dude. There's so much talent leaving the NFL this offseason. Travis Kelsey, Zach Martin's gone. Von Miller, my God. Thankfully, we only had Nico Autry. But, honestly, I'm kind kind of scared to look at this point and see how much Derrick Henry actually regressed. Oh no, dude. He's down to a 75 with normal. In three off seasons, this man has dropped like 20 overall. That is 
absolutely insane. And again, Will Levis didn't progress at all. He's 27 now. He has like three seasons left to really progress. I don't know what to do. I might have to actually draft a quarterback. I just don't know how these two seasons so far, he's only progressed three overall. Like those are decent numbers. And defensively now, we did have Christian Wilkins improve the superstar X factor, but we haven't had him resign yet, which I guess that does give us a little bit more incentive. Now, Pete Warner lost his star. Like, why is so many bad things happening to us right now? And out of everything that could have happened this offseason, our backup tight end improved his superstar. He had 162 yards all season long. I don't understand. Well, I guess at this point, fellas, we see what the heck this next offseason has in store for us. Fortunately, we only have like 41 million to spend. Now, 100% first thing we do here is accept Peter Skaronsky's fifth year option. Now, Roger McCreary man i want you to come back so badly i i don't know why he won't accept this i'll bump it up a little bit i want you to be my number one corner for years to come brother and he's testing free agency oh my gosh dude what a, like why did you reject that contract franchise tag how much 26 million yeah we're definitely not doing that now with christian wilkins being an x factor now i feel like it's pretty important that we resign this guy i'll give you a two-year contract offer and i'll even bump it up so you can earn yourself a pretty penny like we can't lose our only x factor on the entire team just kidding yes we freaking can oh my gosh this is a gosh dang nightmare you know what dude like the only thing at this point i feel like can make me feel any better is going ahead and re-signing derrick henry to be our backup running back why because i want to like it's a lot of money to spend on a 75 overall running back he, uh, he's also leaving like, why, Derek? Where else are you going to get playing time? Offseason's just started, and we've already lost Christian Wilkins, Roger McCurry, and Derek Henry. So what a great start. This might end up being the absolute most ridiculous free agency yet. Now, you for sure got some big boys out there, and you know what? Maybe that was actually a blessing in disguise. I know Christian Wilkins has an X factor, but Justin here, he's interested in joining us. So we possibly could get him a little bit cheap, give you a fast that four-year contract, hopefully that's enough to entice them, which of course is just tied with the Colts and everybody else. My gosh, dude, this free agency wants to ruin me. Five-year contract with a ridiculous cap hit, and I really don't care. We just need this guy so bad. We finally pulled ahead somehow. Now, I still do want to bring back Roger McCreary if he'll freaking let me. I'll just offer this to him off the get-go. We're ahead of everybody else at this point. Oh, man, Jalen Phillips could be huge for us, but I don't have the money. Maybe, just maybe, I can work a little bit of magic. Like, do I go ahead and trade away Amari Cooper? Like, he really didn't do much for us at all last year. I feel like he actually has quite a bit of value. We're really not getting way too much in return, unfortunately. And we went ahead and did it, man. We went ahead and did it, saving some money. A pretty big deal here as we trade Amari Cooper, Pete Warner, and Caleb Farley. We get a superstar corner in Cooper DeJean, 80 overall back in return, and we get our brand new starting defensive tackle that we desperately needed. Which apparently we still can't freaking afford Jalen Phillips. What do you mean? Boys, I might have just screwed up big time. Dude, at this point, I, I guess we gotta offer a one-year contract to Matthew Judon so we at least have one outside linebacker capable of doing something solid. Well, I guess at this point, we just hopefully can get all three of these guys, or this might be a complete failure of an offseason. And thank God, we got all three of them. Jesus. Now, what are the odds I could actually get Derrick Henry on, like, a super, super, super cheap contract? I don't feel like anybody's gonna offer him. Yeah, see, we're literally his only offer. And at the end of the first stage of free agency, he hasn't accepted. And the end of stage two, we're still his only offer and he still hasn't accepted. He's just, he might as well just retire. He's not accepting anybody's contract. Maybe that means he'll be an available free agent. We can get him that way and maybe still have a chance to get him a ring. But as of right now, Derrick Henry is just a freaking free agent. He just for whatever reason, does not want to return to us. Now, my big question, man, is like, is this where I just go ahead and draft myself a new quarterback? And the 
the latest mock draft at 16 has us taking another outside linebacker. I wonder, uh, do we need to trade up and get a quarterback? God, dude, there's just so many tough decisions still to make. I can put three players through a private workout, and I'm honestly gonna take three quarterbacks to see how good they actually are. I can't believe we're already at the point where I'm possibly moving on from Will Levis. He just hasn't got any better. I know this might not seem like much, but we did just trade up three spots up to pick number 13. We also got a next year's fourth round pick, just traded away some garbage, and I'm hoping this will help us be able to actually get one of my top targets at quarterback. This draft is probably going to be the toughest one I've had to do yet, man. Like, I can't believe we're already replacing our quarterback potential. So hopefully a quarterback doesn't go number one, goes defensive end JoJo Colbert. Wide receiver goes number two. I'm just really hoping we don't see quarterback. Well, at this point, man, not one quarterback is taken. We're already at pick number eight. So still, in the top ten, not one quarterback has been selected. If we can make it two more picks without a quarterback going, we're actually going to get our choice of the bunch. And I just hope one of them are half decent, dude. So I have to say off the get-go, man, when we scouted those three players, these came back as round two to three talents, but this man is a top five talent, J.D. Mazikja. Gosh, if I take him, that's going to be such a tough last name to pronounce, but his stats actually look incredible. Like, the only relevant attribute that's under a B is throwing the run, and I think we can make up for that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take possibly our quarterback of the future in J.D. Mazikja from Kansas State. Hidden development, 94 throw power. Hopefully this is the guy that can finally get us our first ring. Maybe he can get us all seven. Hope to God here we can hit in our second round pick. Now I'm not gonna lie, we've been struggling at middle linebacker and this guy actually looks pretty good. LaMarcus Ballard, I think he's gonna be my pick. Hidden development, we're two for two, 89 speed, which is pretty freaking crazy. I'm talking about offensive linemen always can use some depth. And this guy, Dennis Ross, actually looks pretty good for a third round pick. A impact block. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with Dennis, and unfortunately, he's not hitting development. Now, this defensive end is super, super athletic, and again, we're lacking in that department. So, Eric Leary, just at least be like a 69 70 overall. Groot, why not double dip, get myself another defensive end? Again, it looks like a guy that's pretty strong. He has some bad stamina. Oh, uh, you know what, Justin? I'm, I'm taking you regardless. There's really nobody else to take hidden development. What in the world? He might not be a high overall. Like, we've got a 65 overall, 64 overall hidden development in the first draft we did today. But maybe there's some potential here, possibly. And there's just absolutely nobody I won't left. So I'm just going to turn this pick into some more. I can get two six-round picks. You know what? I'll go ahead and grab them. We can turn this 2026 20, seventh into a six-round pick from next year. Dude, at this point, the future of our franchise really relies on how good of a quarterback that rookie is that we drafted. It said he's a top five talent. Hopefully the game didn't finesse me. 79 overall quarterback. Don't mind if I freaking do. I'm telling you, this guy is going to lead this franchise into the promised land. Already the 16th best quarterback in the NFL. He's only 21 years old, boys. I think we just made a franchise altering decision. That middle linebacker was incredible as well. Left guard was good too for a third round pick. Well, I think we did a freaking great job there. At this point, man, we might be better off just trading away Will and seeing whatever the heck we can get in return. Maybe we could actually trade Will for a respectable outside linebacker that we can actually use for years to come. Wait a second. Why did my fullback, he was a superstar. He literally regressed two development traits in one single week. Like, why? Hey, fellas, I do think it's time to see what the heck we can get for Will. Hilarious enough, our first offer was Baron Browning, which, I mean, is definitely an upgraded outside linebacker. But I want to see if I can get at least a little bit more. I also can throw in those six-round picks that we traded for. I mean, that didn't really make it much better. Fellas, it was by far the best deal out there for us, so welcome our brand new starting outside linebacker and Baron Browning who's actually gonna be here for a while. And last thing we did is got rid of a few players on expiring contracts. We got a third round pick out of it which I think is a 
pretty big deal. Now you guys knew it was coming. Derrick Henry on a Mickey Mouse one year contract. I don't care if he's just our goal lineback. I just want so bad to get him a ring and he's probably going to retire after this year so this season is more than likely our final team. And funny enough, we do need a little bit more depth at receiver and why not bring back DeAndre Hopkins who worked so well in our offense. And I completely forgot we don't even have a backup quarterback yet. So I feel like a guy like Matthew Stafford who can mentor our young buck first round pick. I think this is the perfect move. I just hope he doesn't have to play. I hope to God this offense can improve enough so we can make it back to the playoffs this year. I think this defense is as good as we've ever had. I mean, we're up to an 84 overall team across the board. So this is the most talented team we've ever had. We always wanted the freaking preseason. Wish we'd save those for the regular season. Look at the young superstar cooler that we acquired already improving up to an 81. Oh, we were so close to going 3-0 for the first time in the preseason. Look at our young middle linebacker also improving. Good vibes around here this preseason. Unfortunately, all the guys that we've stood in the practice squad, they've ran out of their eligibility, so we're kind of screwed there. After this, we still have to get rid of two more players, and there's just like nobody I want to get rid of. It all worked out as we moved two depth pieces to swap a fifth rounder for a fourth. Here we freaking go, dude. We're going to sim to midseason this time around, and I just hope to... God, that we have a better record than last year. We cannot go two and five again to start the year. Just can't do it. So I have to say, four and three is so much better than what we started last season. Currently have a two-game lead on the division. The freaking Jags are struggling big time, so maybe, just maybe, we can make it back to the playoffs this season, but really anything can happen in the second half of the year. Decent little surprise here with Roger McCreary boosting up to an 84 overall. Our offense isn't doing too much better than last year's. We're currently an eight and our defense is like even worse. So how are we doing so good? Our young quarterback's looking solid though. JD with 11 touchdowns to so only five interceptions. But still this team is struggling to run the football. And our receiving core is doing about how we expect. Okay, so this time around, Jeff Simmons actually getting to the quarterback eight sacks, which puts him on pace for about 16, which would be great. And our big preseason addition of Baron Browning with three, which is respectable. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. How on earth did our young quarterback already become a superstar X Factor? When the frick did this happen? You don't even see it on here. But I have to tell you, fellas, I am not complaining whatsoever. Maybe he was a superstar X Factor just as a rookie. What is going on, dude? And now we have our middle linebacker already a superstar X Factor. How does this even happen? Again, I'm not complaining, and I, I don't see when he became an X Factor, but he for sure is. Right, so I have to say, with our first and second round picks, already being superstar X factors. I am excited for the future of this team. Now here in the midseason, we do have some pretty big contracts we need to look at. For starters, Daxon Hill, I told you guys he is in my plans for at least the next five, six, seven seasons. Hopefully he'll go ahead and accept, which he does. Of course, Tajay is going to be our running back of the future, so I want to keep him around for a while. Hopefully this is enough for him to accept and it's why is it so easy this season? Now Traylon, I do want want him to return, but he has absolutely zero interest. Does mean we're going to have to overpay a little bit, but I mean, he's been super solid for us the last few years. Hopefully, this is enough, and it is. This is so simple. So now Derrick Henry has interest in re-signing. Honestly, I'm going to wait until the offseason because I, I'm only keeping him around because I want him to get a Super Bowl ring. So if we somehow win it this season, he can, he can retire and go off into the sunset. Now, Kobe Turner is an interesting one. Like... I do want to keep him around for a while if I can. I just don't want to overpay if I don't have to for an 81 overall. Which we offered him the base package and he wants to say yes but can't fully commit. Why? I don't know. But he looks happy at least. I think it's time to stop stalling, boys. I think it's time to simulate to the playoffs. And I hope to God this team doesn't choke this season. 12-5 and five on this season. By far the best year we've had yet. And honestly, it wasn't even close. The AFC South, I'm not going to lie, has been pretty trash in this franchise so far. But I... I'm not complaining because it got me in the playoffs. And this is so poetic because we actually got the chance to get revenge on the Ravens who knocked us out the first time we made the playoffs. And our quarterback got a new ability, although I don't know how because he's already an X Factor. Brother, he is all the way up to an 85 overall. I am telling you, this was the best decision we could have ever freaking made. Not to mention a pretty big upgrade for the team's highest rated player. I've been upgrading my coach talent tree to make sure we get like the most XP for our players possible, so I'm 
wondering if that's starting to take effect, why some of my players are progressing so much now. I mean, much better this season. Finished with a top half offense. How about that defense, though? We finished top 10. Finally, we filled it a pretty solid defense. Honestly, with how much he progressed, I expected better numbers, but that still is incredible for a rookie. It just still makes me confused at why he progressed so much, and Will Levis in three seasons, putting up numbers just like this, went up three overall. And again, man, we didn't even have a 1,000-yard rusher, although Derrick Henry still played some. 11 rushing touchdowns led the team by far. And Traylon Burks, man, earning that contract extension, another 1,000-yard season. And look at 95-year-old D-Hop almost eclipsing 1,000 yards on the season. By far the most as a collective unit we have got to the quarterback. And look at our boy Barron almost eclipsing 10 sacks. These were two massive additions that we made in the offseason. Oh, wow, another MVP for Patrick Mahomes. What a surprise. And what does a man have to do to win Coach of the Year, man? We got the two seed with a rookie quarterback and we came in eighth place and wow dude didn't even win offensive rookie of the year which is insane to me who the frick is this guy oh and our middle linebacker came so close to winning defensive rookie of the year i guess i can't complain that the award went to a tight end with 15 receiving touchdowns now last thing before we give the playoffs another shot i want to see how the team progressed as a collective unit because we're up to an 87 overall okay tajay up to an 84 we have Xavier Worthy. He's closing in on a 90 overall rating. Defensively, oh my god, dude, that X Factor is a cheat code up to an 84 overall as a 22-year-old rookie. We got our young quarterback up to an 83. The defensive line's looking nasty, although, oh no, Jeff Simmons is hurt for the freaking playoffs. Well, that's definitely changed the mood quite a bit here around the RBT headquarters. You want to do some scouting and see how the Ravens has changed. Of course, Lamar's a 99. Real Quan Smith, almost a 99, but he's hurt too, thank God. They just have such a loaded team. Say Flowers is hurt too. He's out for the week. He might could play. That sucks. I need him not to. He killed us the first time around we played him. But honestly, aside from like Ed Oliver, it looks like, oh, Jalen Warren's still there. Oh no. I was gonna say it seems like about the same team we played last time around. But especially since we get this game at home, hopefully this time around we actually get the win. We have seven Super Bowls still to win, so I'm hoping this playoff run, we can finally start adding to that total. Kyle, I don't like coming out on defense first against 99 Lamar Jackson. That's why. That, that's exactly why. They're about to score, and it's been one play. Thank God he got hurt. That's what you get, Tyler. That's right. Limp to the locker room. I don't care if it takes injuries for us to win. I just want to win whatever it takes. Oh no! I saw that coming in the last second. Lamar's just too good. Oh no, he's gonna read off Shimmy all day long. Just like the first game, we're gonna make an adjustment, make sure we play the option conservatively. God, dude, everybody gets so open. It's already 7-0. Dude, this is this is my nightmare. New star running back Tajay Spears get us going. Just kidding. Let's see what our young buck JD can cook up here. Gonna give this to Traylon down the field. It almost picked off. Chick, please. Chig makes the grab first down. We don't have to punt it back to the Ravens, who will almost 100% score every time they have the ball. Play action here. Traylon wide open. We can make the throw. Of course he does, dude. Traylon first down around the 36. I'm sitting here thinking, man, like, I am not going to be able to ever pronounce this guy's last name. I'm just going to call him Maisie. That's his nickname, Maisie. Let's see if Maisie here can hit the Ravens secondary with consecutive back-to-back -back deep play action passes. Traylon Burks, please, dude, please, please. Oh, overthrow it just a tad. Give the ball back to Tajay here. Nice blocks on the outside. Tajay Spears. Oh, please get there. Get there. So close down to the two. His biggest run as a Titan yet by four. But my friends, now it's time for the big man. 75 overall. Derrick Henry, the handoff. And he gets stuffed. So that was kind of anticlimactic. We're going to try it again. Surely they don't stop Derrick twice in a row. Derrick always feasts against the Ravens in the playoffs. And he got stuffed again. So, how did he not get one yard on that play? I I'm going hurry up. This might be a, a bad decision, but there's no shot. Third time, 100%. It's going to be a charm. Derrick Henry cuts it outside. He scores against the Ravens, and we notch things up here in Nashville. Huge, huge, huge freaking play. Oh, this might be a mistake for bringing pressure. It was, how did he catch that? How on earth? Oh, please get to him. Oh, that's unbelievable. That's going to be a 50-plus yard rush from Lamar Jackson. How did he not fumble? 
We actually stopped Jalen Warren in the backfield. That's got to be some sort of miracle. He ran it again. This time, Jalen Warren's going to break it. It's going to make a third down and three. Honestly, if we can hold the Ravens to a field goal, that's like a win in my book. And you're scared, Lamar. I mean, I guess at least we're not losing by 20 at this point. They actually ran the ball. They ran it, and they're going to get it. Gosh dang it. Never in a million years. Jalen Warren is ridiculous. What even was he doing? I'm going to see Jalen Warren in my freaking nightmares. If he signs with the Ravens in real life, call it quits, bro. He's running for 2,000 yards. Wait, how is Patrick Queen playing? Bro, I thought he had like a torn quad or something. Come on, big hole. Massive hole. Tajay Spears, another first down close to midfield. Play action. I'm kind of scared to throw the ball. Uh, just got to let it rip. What a throw! Will Levis could never! I want to make it clear, love Will Levis IRL. But for whatever reason, he is absolutely terrible in this franchise. So thank God for Maisie. And thank God for Tajay Spears in his seven-yard run. We can wait a second. Wide open, wide open, touchdown Titans! Xavier Worthy, our number one receiver here in Nashville, coming up huge when it matters the most. Now let's see if our defense can actually get a freaking stop for once. Kill him. How did he hang on? They hang on to everything. Good, I hope you're hurt. Come on, get to him, please. Wow, does Lamar evade pressure like that? That's ridiculous. Brother, I am a begging boy. I am a begging freaking boy. Can we please, dear God, get off the field for once? Throwing the football. What on earth? What on earth did it, what just happened? What the frick just happened? How do you get that open? He does like a 73 overall receiver. Brother, that's got to be some sort of joke. Honestly, at this pace, dude, the Ravens might score 75 points this game. They hit him with another play action. Traylon's going to be wide. We get it. That's, he's definitely not wide at all, and I'm so lucky. Absolutely so lucky that wasn't a pick. And off to Tajay. It's going to be close to the first down. going to go up tempo here. Just run the ball again because Tajay for sure, surely he's going to get a single yard. Bay Patrick Queen, big hole again. Midfield. Then has got a hundred yards rushing and it's three minutes left to go in the hat. Gonna try and pull out the cheeky screen game here to Tajay. Okay, we got so lucky he caught that, but I am so glad I ran that. First down on a second and 14. So much space for our running back. Tight end was kind of wide open. That might have actually been a touchdown, but I, I was impatient. We still got the first. Who cares? Now, my issue here is if I give the Ravens any more than like 10 seconds to score, they're going to go into halftime with the lead regardless if I score a touchdown here. Although I think I'm calling my shot here. Xavier Worthy looking for his second touchdown of the game. Wide open. Can we also overthrow? Oh, I'm lucky. You know what? We're just going to take off here. He's so slow. I need to make sure we don't fumble. That's the slowest quarterback. Maisie, you need to get in the freaking gym. Please, bro, please. Please sit in there. Gosh, dang it. We're going to have to kick the freaking field goal. We had Tajay in the linebacker, but not nearly enough time. going to have to kick the field goal with Dicker the kicker. I mean, I guess that's better than you know, throwing a pick six on that drive. Now the issue lies with the Ravens and Lamar having way too much time to potentially take a two-possession lead going into halftime. Exhibit A. Exhibit freaking A. He's 7 of 7 passing. What do you mean? Yes, fumble. Please, please, for once, for once, take it to the house. Please, please, please. He didn't take it to the house, but I will take that all day, every day. Finally, we got to Lamar. Who did it? Who caused the fumble? That's our freaking young buck rookie second round pick causing a fumble. The biggest play of his life. Brother, we have got to, and I mean got to, punch this in for six. If we can take the lead, get in the ball at halftime. I will be the happiest boy this side of the Mississippi River. Tajay Spears down to the five. That's already 100 yards for my nine carries. An awful close here to Derrick Henry territory. Halfbacks. No, 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 no. Guys, A. Spears, is, he looks fine. He's got up. What are you talking about? He's hurt. Now he's going to the locker room. Oh, that's just, that's horrible. Fellas, it is Derek freaking Henry time. I am going to run it here. And that was a horrible play call. He's still got a couple yards. Sets up for a third and goal from the five. I'm going to let this clock tick to the very freaking end because I don't want the Ravens to even have a single second if it's possible. Savior Worthy, please, please make the grab. What a bad throw. Oh, no. Oh, I don't even want to play anymore. What are the odds, dude? 
Oh my God, we're having to set up for a field goal. Our running back, who has having a breakout game, 100 yards and a half against the Ravens, and he's out for the season with a freaking, what do you even have, a fractured spleen? Well, as I have to say, my disappointment is immeasurable, and my day's ruined completely ruined we've got to start this half the right way at bare minimum man we have got to take the lead got to story's gonna write itself man derrick henry in the game with his injured teammate tajay spears out for the season now his first carry as once again the feature back goes for over 10 derrick's out for blood boys doesn't draw blood on this play though try to sling the rock here Traylon burst wide open in the plus territory close to the red zone but can please dear god this time around we actually punch this bad boy in for six i did not want to settle for another field goal eric bounces outside gets the blocks please run over him kill him kill the man down to the five yard line this has to be six it has to be come on show us even though you were 75 overall you are still derrick henry and uh, he's punching it in. Got about two there. Now we have Russell Dockett in the game. The young running back we drafted in like the fourth or fifth round. It's actually super solid. This would be the biggest play of his career. He could actually score here. Up the middle. The easiest touchdown that man will score in his career. But that doesn't mean it's not the biggest he's ever scored. We're not done yet, fellas, because we're going for two to try to make this a touchdown game. Need somebody to get open here or I'm crying. I'm not going to cry. Actually, I am. It was overthrown. Oh, that, that's big. That is freaking big. Well, at least, boys, at this point, we have the lead. And honestly, that's all that matters. It would feel a lot better if it was a touchdown lead. But, hey, we got to work with this five-pointer. You got to keep in mind, we did choke away an 11-point lead the last time we matched up in the playoffs. So, I hope to God that doesn't happen again. I'm sure Lamar is going to score here in, like, two plays. So, I don't even know why I'm trying. Oh, no. Come on, please. He just finds somebody open regardless. I mean, we still can't tackle. We, we just are not a good tackling team. He hasn't thrown an incompletion yet, which is ridiculous. Hand off, and I... Uh, another first down for Jalen. I'll tell you right now, though, I would 100% take just giving up a field goal here. A pick six would be nicer. Play action. Come on, get to this freak. That's an intentional grounding rep. I think I'm just going to continue to bring pressure because that is literally, like, the only way we can keep them from picking up big plays. And again, Jalen Warren this time, luckily not going anywhere, sets up for a third down and long. I actually think they have gotten every single third down conversion this game. So I, I'm kind of hoping that streak ends here. Oh my gosh, I just thought for sure that was going to be caught. Boys, this is one of the seven wonders of the world. We've actually made the Ravens punt the football. Oh no, dude. I think Creed Humphrey, our highest rated player on offense, is now injured. I hope to God that's not season ending. He looks okay. He's still on the bench. He doesn't look happy, though. Well, I tell you guys, depth is so freaking important. What's more important is Derek freaking Henry. Going deep here. I got to get it off. I, I didn't. I just didn't even have a chance to throw the ball. Muscle cramps. Fantastic. Call me silly, but I'm actually going to run the ball, try to make it a respectable third down. And for a split second, I thought we had a chance there. But third and 11, we picked up worse. Fellas, that is going to take us into the fourth quarter. Can we please, this time around, please, dear God, not choke this one away. Please, dear God, somebody get wide open. I think Traylon's going to be open. Please make the grab. Traylon Burks hangs on. Huge, huge catch. Oh, dude, why were you quieting the crowd? I love the look that we had there. Bare minimum, we've got to make sure we get in field goal range so we can make it an eight-point ball game. Derek up the middle, not much. I hate the look here, so I'm actually going to check back down to a run again. Up the middle, and uh, he got something there. This might be the absolute biggest play of the franchise yet, and I think I'm going to be a silly boy, and I'm actually going to run the football again. Hope to God this isn't a mistake. Derrick Henry, boom, dude, when the game is on the line. 75 overall or not, Derrick Henry, man, you could put all your freaking faith into him. And the one thing I can't do here is make a mistake. Can't make a mistake. Xavier Worthy in the middle. He's going to make the grab down to the 10-yard line. That is a mass song. 75, Derrick Henry, clinched the W for us on this play. No. Again, man, I don't really like the look, so I'm just going to put my faith in Derrick Henry here. Audible to an inside zone. And he got stuck to the line, but he broke the tackle down to the three. Can we get three yards in two plays? I beg. Absolutely beg. 
Nobody's open and they blitz. Broke the tackle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Huge. How do you not get your feet in bounds there? How on earth? You know what, dude? I'm doing it. I'm actually going to go for this. Call me a crazy boy. I really don't care. Ball doesn't lie. That should have been a touchdown 99 times out of 98. That should have been a TD. Ball doesn't lie. Derrick Henry with the game on the line to clinch our spot in the divisional round of the playoffs. Derrick Henry up the middle. Touchdown! The King! He might be a wish version of the King, but he's still the King nonetheless. I've got to watch this in replay. What on earth just happened? I mean, this was so close to being stuffed. Somehow, some way, 75 overall or not. Pushed the pile and got into the freaking end zone. Absolutely zero way we choked this, right? Third down and short, boys. Third down and short. We can end it in these next two plays. He's been a little uncomfortable when we blitz, so I'm going to bring it back here. Tire City of Venezuela coming after Lamar Jackson, and somehow that receiver hangs on. How? Trying it again, bro. This time we're bringing the city of Zimbabwe. And again, he's just absolutely destroying my man press corner off of man press. Just ridiculous. All over it. I over-pursued, unfortunately. Stopped him to a six-yard gain. I'll take that, though. Two minutes left. Two-minute warning. No way I choke it, man. Everybody's open. The check is, oh my gosh, we sack Lamar Jackson without actually calling a blitz. No shot. Oh my gosh, pick it off, please. Fourth and 13. This is the freaking ball game, fellas. We're going to play the sticks. We get the stop. We're moving on. We got revenge on the Ravens. Lamar throws it out of bounds. And your Tennessee Titans finally, after three seasons, have finally won a playoff game. That's going to do it, fellas. I'm going to kneel the ball after this so I don't get anybody hurt. I say that. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Now my right guard's hurt. His spleen is bursted. Now he's going to the locker room. This is the nightmare. And they didn't even call the timeout, too, because it's considered an injury timeout. Like, that just is horrible. What's going on with the freaking injuries in this game? I still do think I need another first down. So, uh, call me crazy, but I'm going to continue to run the football. And I don't think we're going to get that first down. Oh, dude, I'm sick. Derrick Henry's not quite going to clutch it, but we should be good, I think. Can't quite end it here, so I'm just going to run a play to run the rest of the clock out. And uh, it's not looking good. Do I just heave it deep? Do I heave it deep? Oh, I thought that was a touchdown. But, boys, who the freak cares? Because we're moving on in the playoffs for the first time. Look at me, dude. So happy. Jonathan's not happy. 33 to 21, bro. We have waited three seasons for this moment. But I'm telling you right now, we are not close to finish. I mean, you can't really ask much more from a young rookie quarterback. We had two running backs with over 100 yards. And I cannot believe the rest of the playoffs. 75-year-old Derrick Henry is our guy. It says I only have one new injury and where is Tajay Spear? The right guard's out for the duration of the playoffs but it di didn't it say Tajay was gonna miss the rest of the season? It doesn't even say he has an injury. Brother this guy went through the hyperbaric time chamber because I I'm telling you man either I am the dumbest person on this side of the Mississippi River or this game is dumb. But regardless of that nonsense fellas we are moving on to the divisional round with the big question is against who? The Chargers and Justin Herbert. Not only did Tajay miraculously recover from his season-ending injury in less than a day or two, he got himself an upgrade. I'm just, I'm not asking questions at all. He beat down Joseph and the Bengals by two touchdowns, and oh yay, if we win this game, we get rewarded by having to play either Josh Allen or Mahomes in the conference championship. We're doing a little scouting. The Chargers are still a super solid team. It's, it's the original Chargers team for the most part. Added a few guys like Jared Verse, great defensive end. Ah, this is just going to be another tough game, isn't it? Oh, the ultimate kicker matchup of Gay and Dicker. Wow, for once, I get the ball first in the playoffs. Tajay Spears in the ball game somehow. Gonna hand it off to him first play. And Tajay Spears doing Tajay Spears things. Got a broken collarbone he's playing with, so I might not need to carry the ball with him way too much, but we're gonna carry it with him for a second straight play. I probably could have bounced it outside and got more yards, but I don't care. Got the first. Underneath is so open, but we couldn't hold on. Well, I uh, accidentally am spiking the ball here. 
So I audible with the fake spike. Might not be the best play call, but better than having to waste a timeout. And we about got sacked again. Up the field, please, 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 please. Oh no, dude, so close to being a just ridiculous play. See some potential over there on Xavier Worthy's side. Maybe Chig, maybe Chig. Yes, a laser from Maisie, the young buck, to Chig, who is continuing the greatest season of his career yet. Xavier Worthy, please, 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 please. I'm begging, I'm begging, I'm begging. Feed him bounce, feed him bounce. Touchdown! Xavier Worthy, the second player that we drafted in this franchise, is having the playoff run of his life right now. Might actually be the second most important draft pick we've made so far. But surely Justin Herbert and the Chargers are as hard to defend against as the Ravens were, and I, I say that first play. He fumbled, he fumbled. That 69-year-old Keenan Allen with the fumble. Jack. Gibbons picks it up. Maybe, just maybe, this will actually be an easier game than what we had in a matchup against the Ravens. That was, again, Bullard forcing the fumble, bro. This franchise, regardless of what happens in this playoff run, we are set up for success like never before. Stars everywhere. Oh, after all that, dude, after all that excitement, there's a booth review. Don't do it to me, Daryl. He's down. All that excitement for nothing, dude. That's just the why. Like, why do we have to go through that? Well, not gonna lie, the morale a little low right now. Extremely low, but hey, we're still here playing defense, and I'm, I'm hoping to God they, they don't score in this drive. And at least the running game doesn't seem as successful as the Ravens. Underneath the route, I'll take that all day. Third down. Like, I think it took, like, two quarters to get the Ravens to their first third down. Come on, brother. Ball doesn't lie. Ball does not lie. He is so open. How did that even happen? I didn't even run press. I've got to see this in replay. Roger McCreary, how do you let that happen? He's at least 50 years old at this point, Keenan Allen. There's just no way he should be getting past my number one corner. Well, let's just try and score again. Oh, I'm getting sacked. That's just unfortunate. Saw that coming from a freaking mile away. Not lying, bros. The morale's low. The morale is real low right now. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's lower than it's ever been before. We can't pass protect now for some reason. Three sacks given up in the first quarter. That is just ridiculous. Third and 29, man. I need a prayer. I need the biggest prayer I've ever prayed in my life. Xavier Worthy. Oh, my God. He's got a step. He's got a step. He's got a step. Xavier Worthy coming up huge again. Now, since we can't pass protect too well right now, let's just, just run the football, get our lungs back underneath us. Tajay with the handoff. He's going to get a... About six. The iPhone Pro, their linebackers are playing the greatest game of their freaking career. That's David Long, former Titan, by the way. Well, here we freaking go, fellas. Third down and four. What the heck is about to happen here? Give me a second to throw the ball. Give me a second. Oh, Trayland was going to be so open, and now I kind of actually want to go for this. If I don't like the look here, I'm going to audible out, I think. I kind of like the look. I kind of like the look. Xavier Worthy, brother, I'm going to give you a shot. I'm going to give you a shot to make another play. You haven't let me down yet. You're not going to let me down again. You're not going to let me down. You're not going to let... He dropped it. He let me down. Oh, that makes me sick to my god dang stomach, bro. The Madden God's not in my favor right now. Not in my freaking favor at all. Kill him. Death. He's wide open again. I should have never called Keenan Allen a grandfather. The man is going off right now. I'm telling you, man, after the stress of this playoff run, internally, I'm going to be at least a 95-year-old. Yep, fellas, the city of Ghana is coming in on this play. Blitz in the entire city. That's what you get, Justin! Got you locked down. Locked down. Justin Herbert gets sacked for the second consecutive play. Huge! You know what, dude? I don't care what happens here. They're running the ball. Um... Don't mind if I do. Absolutely don't mind if I do. We actually forced a team to a punt in the second quarter. This got to be some sort of Guinness World Record. Oh, I don't like this. B was open. B is not open anymore. Gosh, why can't you run off the field, brother? Tajay gets absolutely nothing. I do not want to go three and out right now. Worst comes to worst, I'm just going to chunk this deep to Xavier Worthy. Maxing and chucking deep to Traylon Burks, but the cornerbacks are running the freaking route for me. Gosh dang it, we have to punt the ball. I feel like at this point, the wild card round already had like 35 points. Except for a nice return, too, unfortunately. 
hope to God we can get to Justin Herbert on this drive like we did on the last. You fellas think I'm putting on a show, man. I am stressing. Like, legitimately, I am stressing. The action. Come on. Keenan Allen is ridiculous, man. You're not supposed to be doing this. There's just no way. No way. It's Holt Rev. Where's the holding call? Who, who is this? Who even is that? Breaking 63 tackles on the play. God, we got to be the worst tackling team in the history of freaking National Football League. This game's got me mad right now, fellas, and that's a bad thing for the Chargers. Jig wide open. He comes down with it securely. Go and hurry up, man, because I'm mad. I'm a mad, mad boy right now. Jig again. Of course he hangs on to it. Not really feeling good about things, not gonna lie, because they get the ball at halftime, so I, I think it's pretty important here. We score, at least tie things up. Tajay, maybe this is the one. Oh, not quite, couldn't bounce it outside, but I'll take it. Little cheeky halfback screen here. Oh my, this could be it. This could be the one. Please, make a man miss. Couldn't quite get past him, but hey, I'll take the big 18-yard play. Up the middle again, there's a holding call, probably. That's just so unfortunate, man. Oh, no, I did not see the blitz. This is second and 20 freaking seven. Check again, wide open, and he overthrew it. There's just so much going against me right now. I cannot believe it. Anything, just make sure I don't take a sack here so we can at least get a field goal. Um, oh, my God. Gosh, what? What's going on with this offensive line right now? There is a six mile per hour wind in my face. I was a little inaccurate there, right down the middle. Dicker the kicker is good as always. I don't think he's ever missed a field goal for us, but God, dude, I would love to have got a touchdown in that drive. Come on, man. Have they dropped a ball yet? Six of six. I think combined the two quarterbacks we played in the playoffs have has what, like three combined incompletions? Kill him. No way. Pick. Pick all day. Pick all day. No, 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 no. Oh, I already know this is about to be some absolute nonsense here. How did we blitz and not get pressure at all there? There was came out again. It was out of bounds, thank God. Oh, here comes the booth review. It come back and ruin my freaking day. I think he's in bounds. It's going to be a third and short, isn't it? Oh, that hurts. Oh, they're throwing the ball, actually. Oh, my God. They actually dropped the pass. Fourth and three. They surely have to punt this ball. They're going for it. That's just that's just wrong. That's just freaking wrong, man. I'll have I'll have the ball at midfield if I can get the stop here, but I, I I'm not really confident. They ran it, and I'm not over there. I'm not. I completely I completely whiff. That is, and he's breaking tackles again. Just so unfortunate, man. I mean, if they score a touchdown here, it legitimately might already be a GG. You guys remember when I was up seven to nothing and I thought I got a fumble at midfield? There they go, breaking six tackles again. Just unbelievable. Can we freaking cover this grandfather? I got to lock the frick in, man. I got to lock in because we have got to put points up before this half is over. I don't care if it's a field goal or what. We've got to get something here. Come on, Traylon. I'm, I'm begging you, bro. I'm begging you. Trey. I'm, I'm sick. Sick to my god dang stomach. Not going to lie, fellas. I'm liking this. Liking this a whole lot. Liking this a whole lot. Whole lot. Xavier Worthy makes the grab. He actually didn't drop it this time. Wide open, please, bro. Please, please, please. Trailer Burks with the grab. Take that. Ball doesn't freaking lie. We're going for two. Of course we are. To make this a three-point game going into halftime. We're going to run the ball. Tajay Spears up the middle. And we're going to get stuffed. We got freaking stuffed. Oh. Keenan Allen catches everything. I mean, I, like, legitimately, he's got to be in the 60s at this point, and he just catches every god dang ball. You know what would just make everything better right now would be a pick six here to end the half. That would that'd make me so happy. There's absolutely no way. No way. Don't believe it. I'll take it. Just hurts, man. I just feel like, I feel like this game is just not been good to me. It could be worse. I, I could be down by 11 like it was a second ago. Just absolutely cannot let the Chargers get points in this drive. Just can't do it. I know where he's going with the ball, but I, I just can't even cover it. Burn the football all over it, all over it, and he's still got the first down, but at least we hurt you. Sit down, Tyler. Hope it's a career ender. Underneath, we'll take that. Of course, though, he gets the first. It's just unstoppable to stop this freaking offense. 
Hand off again to the left side. All over it once again. Honestly, think we are absolutely due to get to the quarterback. I think a sack is way, way overdue. And there goes Keenan Allen again, catch, catching every goddamn ball. I, I, I'm positive he's got to have at least 11 catches. Eight catches, bro, halfway through the third quarter. Like, this is just not even fair. Oh, no, dude. I messed my assignment up. God dang. Can we just cover? What are we doing? Doing. We gotta score fast, dude. We have gotta score so, so fast. There's Worthy again. Please, please, please don't overthrow it. Please don't overthrow it. Xavier Worthy, touchdown on the very first play. You have Keenan Allen. I have Xavier freaking Worthy, brother. And I know this might seem nonsensical, but I really don't care. I want to get my point back from earlier. Whoa! They've ran that same stretch play three times, and, and how on earth? Same, same look, same freaking play call defensively, and they get 50-something yards. That, I, I really hope you're out. I let this career ender. Hope your ribs just fell out your body. There's got to be some rule against that. It's got to be. Third down and 10, I'm telling you right now, if he gets this, I, I'm crying. Like, I, I'm legitimately 28-year-old grown man gonna cry. Come on, please, sit the freak down. Turner with the sack. That's why I picked you up, brother. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. I have got to score a touchdown on this drive. Just that's got to be, there's there's rules against that. It's got to be. There had to be 12 men on the field there. Five wide has really been messing with this defense, so I'm going to continue to run it. It's either a big play or a sack. Like, there's no in between. Here we are, dude. Third down and 14, man. This is an absolute must-have. Please, Jig, I'm begging, bro. He's going to hang on to it. First down and more. And he's hurt. And he's hurt. Just just keep adding insult to injury. I don't care. I don't care if I have to pull fans out of the stands, dude. We are winning this game one way or another. No, no. Uh-uh. Bring Daryl out. Bring Darrow out. That is not a fumble. And now Chig's out for the game, too. So this this game, I'm telling you, is, is trying to break me. Booth review. Come on, where's Daryl? Thank you, Daryl. Why didn't we call that down on the field, man? He was on the ground for at least 10 seconds before the ball even freaking popped out. Thank you. As he out of the backfield, he drops it. Third down and seven again. Needs some sort of a miracle here. Who's going to be the one to provide it? I'm going to chunk it deep to Worthy again. And he's gonna come down with it! Oh my god, dude, this man is turning into a superstar before our freaking eyes. I didn't even think he had separation. I just needed to get the ball off. But I have to admit, what a freaking dime. Dropped right in the bucket from Maisie. Gotta punch it in, brother. Got to. Tajay up the middle. The Titans, pinning the extra point, are going to take the lead for the first time in a long freaking time. Kicker the kicker, always perfect. We have ourselves a one-point lead. There's his halfback stretch to the left again, and thank God he didn't break that for 75 yards. Another run this time to the right. I should be all over that when he breaks the tackle, but I think we're going to keep him from the first down marker. Third and one. Brother, you best believe I'm bringing absolutely everybody on this freaking play. They ran the ball. And he got it. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm 100% gonna shade the side of Keenan Allen and then rain the ball so it didn't matter. And oh my god, he didn't break a tackle. Third down and six. Honestly, I, I think our best bet is just to bring the house again. I actually don't like it. I I'm audible and out. Oh, I might have just made a massive mistake. No, 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 no. Get to him. Kill him. Fumble. There's just no way he hung on to the ball there. He at least has got to have a fractured spleen or something. I'm tired of this man thinking he's Peyton Manning at the line of scrimmage. Come on. Oh, uh, just of course, of course. Bro, I feel like we're due for something. We're due for a pick six, something of those sorts. Yes, 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 on cue, on freaking cue. It's not a pick six, but I don't give up. Roger McCreary has been getting bullied all game long when he comes up, when it means the most. Justin Herbert took a shot over to Keenan Allen, who's caught about 17 
falls up to this point, but finally our player makes the play. We get the ball back with a chance to add on to our lead. I'm telling you guys right now, we score a touchdown. I'm going for two to make this a two possession game. I do not want this to come down to another Chargers drive. Massive hole up the middle. We'll take that all day. And Jared Burst is hurt, so that's something I'll take for sure. Gonna try another run, and we get a big, big, big first down from Tajay Spears himself. Max is gonna run hurry up and attempt a cheeky little screen pass here. Either they're gonna work well, or this is gonna be an absolute disaster. And it's not a disaster. It's a big first down. Again, into plus territory. We're in field goal range now, but we're not looking for field goals. We are looking for touchdowns. I think it's finally time to get fresh Derrick Henry involved in this ball game. Hasn't had a carry all game long. Gets a couple yards. Gonna run it up the middle again. Huge hole. He's gonna get so close. I think I gotta run it back. I think I gotta run it back up tempo. Derrick Henry up the middle. We need a single man dingo. We need a single man dingo. Huge hole. First down, Derrick Henry. We are 22 yards away from potentially locking this game up, maybe. I'll hit him with the play action here. You know what? I don't trust it. I'm just gonna uh, dump this off to Tajay, and we actually got like nine yards. How? I don't know. I'm gonna bring Derrick back in here. Second down and one. Need a singular yard, and we get it in a little bit more. Piling forward down to the goal line from the five-yard line. If Derrick Henry can clinch this game here, man, that's just poetry in motion. That's what we call poetry in motion. Derrick Henry, you know what? I'll take that to a little bit more clock. We're going to let this bad boy hit the two-minute warning, and we are two minutes away from somehow making it to the conference championship game. We're going to run Derrick Henry up the middle. What else are we going to do at this point? Got the whole Derrick Henry. Let's go! A two point conversion right here, fellas, might very well clutch this game up. You got to score a touchdown regardless, and you best believe we're bringing in the big man, the greatest player in Titans history, to solidify the playoff win. That's the easiest conversion this man has ever had in his career. Moses part of the Red Sea right in front of our own very eyes. I thought for a second that was about to be another pick back to back. But you know what? Don't care. As long as they don't score quickly, I am fine with it. Well, I am going to sit back in coverage all day, every day. Run your play action passes. Run them. Can we get to the quarterback? How? It's just, I just don't understand how they get so open, bro. Two plays are already down to the 20, which is definitely not optimal. There he is, wide open again, but they are finally going to have to use a timeout. They didn't, a bunch of psychos. You know what? Just don't let them score. Don't let them freaking score for anything. Not a single yard. Don't allow a single yard here. Oh, we get a sack! Baron Browning coming up huge when we need him. Hopefully the blitz here isn't a massive mistake. I feel like we can get to Justin. Gosh! Now the only issue here, they got the extra point. If they somehow get this onside kick, they can win with the field goal. Like, there's just absolutely zero way right zero way please pick it up sit down don't get up just, just sit on the ground don't get up that, that's too sketchy Traylon. one singular first down wins this ball game i can't believe it's gotten to this point and there's joey bosa going crazy making plays actually i feel like i should be able to kneel this and we should be good right we caught a timeout one more kneel should be good i think as long as this play takes a single second we should be golden e Two, one, somehow, some way, two absolute hell games. The Tennessee Titans are advancing to the AFC Championship game for the first time since the 2019 season. Maisie, the rookie phenom, is trying to be the first quarterback in NFL history to win the Super Bowl as a rookie. And what a performance from a man. 441 yards, three touchdowns. He still hasn't thrown an interception in the playoffs. To be fair, big part of that was Xavier Worthy's new game, dude. 250 yards, two touchdowns. And Look at these two absolute heathens combining for what's that, 320 yards total and four touchdowns between the two? Get me the frick out of this game. Now, here is the thing, fellas. 
as much as I don't want to play either of these teams, I would much rather the Bills win so we can get at least one more home game. But I got a bad, bad, bad feeling it's going to be the Chiefs to win. Over 500 points scored on this season. If we have to play the Chiefs, man, we might be the first team in NFL history to give up 100 points in a singular game. Bills have never been able to beat the Chiefs in the playoffs. I'm hoping to God this 2026 season is the first time that can happen. And we have to travel to Kansas City. Gosh, dang it. Beat the Bills by eight. Oh, this is a rematch of the AFC title game in 2019 that broke my heart. We've got to get revenge. And if we do somehow win this game, we're having to take on either the Vikings or the Falcons. And what a freaking time for our young quarterback to get another upgrade. I mean, I'll, I'll give him that. He didn't even have his overall get boosted from that. But I'll take plus win awareness and the other accuracy stats. Look at the Chiefs roster, dude. 99, 99, 96, 95, 94 receiver. Brother, we are in for an absolute freaking class of the titans. No pun intended. Well, fellas, at this point with us traveling to Arrowhead here... I just have to say, wish me freaking luck, because by God, I need every freaking ounce of this to slay the Patrick Mahomes dragon. Dude, I just know we're going to need the best performance of our defense today, or we're losing this game. There's just there's just no other option. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. No shot. No shot. Absolutely zero way. That just happened. Our youngster Britt with a pick six on the very first freaking play. What on earth have I just gotten myself into? Rudy Britt, you absolute legend. Okay, so I, I didn't expect us to score a touchdown on play one on defense. So I'm going to take that with a grain of salt. That's probably never, ever, ever going to happen again. I'm just kind of scared to death now because I know Patrick Mahomes is going to come out with a freaking vengeance. He's going to try to score the first ever 10-point touchdown on one drive. I just know it. Oh, wide open over the middle. Like I said, yeah, that that's not normally going to happen. You know, that interception. I expect more of that all game. Yep, dotting us up. Dotting us up. I'm curious real quick. Who is their Travis Kelsey replacement? Because he 100% is retired at this point. Cade Stover. Oh, I missed the big hit. I, I just saw fumbles for days, dude. Oh, this might be a mistake. Oh, quick pass. I mean, he didn't score a touchdown, so I'll take it. We're up the middle. We're right there. Big hit, and he, he broke the tackle, but who cares? Second guy got him. Third down on four. If we, if we hold the Chiefs to a field goal here, to me, that's just as big as a freaking pick six. Oh, this is such a big play. Such a big play. All over it. Come on, somebody get them homes. There's just no way we let that happen. We had them freaking clamp. All right, so hopefully our offense can be as effective as the Chiefs were on that last drive. First play from Tajay, and he's going to get about five. We give it to Spears again, and he's going to be able to bounce inside for the first down. Get down to around the 40. So a nice little 13-yarder there. Thank God I got that offer. It's about to be about a 25-yard loss. And play action. Maybe. Oh, no. If you give me a split second longer, I'm telling you right now, our offensive line has probably been our most disappointing unit of the playoffs. I have to be honest. I, I would much rather not punt this back to Mahomes here. I would much rather them get the ball back with us having a lead. Chig, please, please, please. Hang on. I'm begging. I'm begging. Chig, thank God. He's going to do the good things for us here. I was scared that was a pick, so I'll take three yards on that all day. Up the middle, we're going to get the first down. Of course we are. Oh, I don't like it. I'm just going to dump it off to Taji. The man's having a big, big drive here. I think it's finally time to give the king a little bit of action here. Big hole to the left. Derrick Henry, first carry of the game. Stiff arm doesn't quite have that in the tank anymore, but I'll take that run down to the three. Xavier Worthy is not being covered. So let's see if I can hit him. On a little corner, oh, that's not. I want to. I want a post corner. Post. Uh, we get. We get a flag. That is horrible. That is absolute horrible game management from yours truly. I deserve to be fired for that. Greatest coach ever. Like yeah, right. Screw it. This time I'll just give it back to the king. Pull up the middle. Oh, it closed down fast. Oh, I hope to God this is not a mistake. Second and goal. Trey Lambert's wide open. Touchdown. Oh, what a stressful drive. What a freaking stressful drive that was. But not as stressful as having to play defense against Patrick. Gosh dang Mahomes. 
Oh, I was going to cover the running back out the flats, and the receiver just, just ran wide open. Play action. He, how does he even know he's going to be open? I just don't understand how he sees that. No. No shot. Absolutely zero. For them not to score, I feel like we got to pressure Patrick. And I'm going to run the ball here and Pacheco. 99 overall or not, I don't care. You're going nowhere. I cannot begin to even describe how happy of a boy I will be if we can force them to a point. There is no way. That just absolute psycho made that throw. I do not believe Freaking sprinting to the left side of the field in between two offensive linemen. Throws the ball 25 yards on a dime across his body. Like, just get out of here with that. RPO wide open. That's not, that should not be allowed. Roger Goodell banned that play ASAP. Just ridiculous. You guys remember how good the vibes were when I got a pick six in the first play of the game? I just really don't feel that anymore. And we'll just take the underneath, make sure we get a few yards on the play. Maybe if I can get some points in this drive and just run out the rest of the clock, that is probably the best way to go about this here. Oh no, hurry, get, please get the snap off, thank God. Oh, uh, not a hole. Tajay, though, got close. Third and one. Third and one, 100% bringing in the big man. We just need a singular yard, Derek. Big hole, first down, easy freaking money. Be a little conservative here, like I said, trying to chew a little bit of clock while at the same time moving the ball. Can try a little counter here, see how it does. Got bounced back inside, didn't really get much. If we can avoid Nick Bolton on this play, this could be a big one. We avoided him. Taji with the carry. First down in the plus territory. Even if I get a field goal here and run out the clock, I will take that. Probably shouldn't have ran a play there, but yet here we are. I should have never ran that play. He just could not get off his blockers. Billion dollar company, by the way. Billion dollar company. Need to get something here. I threw the post. Oh, what a dime. Oh my gosh, you got to lay out for that. That's a first down. See what the heck we can do here. Maybe, maybe, maybe he overthrew it. That's a first down. If he doesn't overthrow that, we've got to punt the ball. Uh, flag, flag, please, please, please be roughing. I'm begging you, bro. Daryl on my side. Daryl, I beg you to be on my side. Do not give me that kicking. Do not give me the running to the kicker. Personal foul. Oh my gosh, dude. I feel like everything in my life has led up to this moment. What freaking luck right there. Call me crazy. I think I'm actually going to go for the kill shot here. They're pressing on the outside. Let's see if we can cook up. Let's see if we can cook up here. He's open. He's open. He's open. He dropped it. I am sick. I think I'm just going to audible to a run here. I don't like this look at all. Why wouldn't it let me change the play? I just got to dump it off. I, I kept trying to audible play to an inside zone, and it just wouldn't change. This is another one of those situations where I feel like we can pick this up with a run, but it's not letting me audible. Come on. Jesus, why is that so difficult? We have first down. No, it's not. He shed the block. Fourth down and four. Oh no, what do I, what do I do? 59 yard field goal, do I, do I try that? There's not even a wind at my back. I feel like this would have to be perfect. Oh, Dicker the kicker, you have never let me down, brother. You have never let me down. Just one more 59 yard field goal and I, I'll allow you to miss the extra point. I'll, I will allow you to miss the extra point and I will not be mad if you can make this freaking field goal. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know what? Anticlimactic, but I'm calling a timeout. I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to go for this because I just, I don't think I can make that. Oh, no, this is such a big play. Like I said, I feel like I'd miss it. So if I don't get this, it is what it is. At least we chewed the clock a little bit. Xavier Worthy, please. He dropped it again, dude. Come the freak on. Sick to my gosh dang stomach, fellas. Oh, dude. This has just been a rough set of events. Yeah, take that, Patrick. Oh, gosh. Patrick Mahomes, Hail Mary. I do not like this. He's 100% getting this ball into the end zone. I, I, again, I'll cry. If he gets this in the end zone and catches it, I, I'm crying. That was almost a pick. It's, gosh dang, a second left. That's unbelievable. Honestly, I think it might be more likely than not that he actually scores here. A pick six would be nice. <gasps> you weirdo. That was such a great chance at getting another pick six. And you just ran away from the freaking ball. 
Oh man, I feel like we should be winning this game by so much more than what we are, and that's kind of demotivating. Ain't nothing left but the crying though, boys. Oh, I need to score points in this drive. I do not want to give it back to Mahomes with a chance to take the lead. Come on, good return here. Never. You never get good returns in this game. On the run, Tajay's gonna make the catch. Get about four. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Did we get the audible off? Thank God. I just gotta run the play. Got to run the play. Oh no, let's get the ball away. Jesus, that was too stressful. The, the freaking crap where I can't audible the play because their, their freaking momentum meter is, is messing with my head, I tell you. I would love for my audible to work in the first try. We're running it again, third and six. Great block. Oh, he got it. Oh, thank God. I'm not gonna lie, dude, just, I am scared. Like, I'm actually scared to throw the ball right now. I'm just gonna run it again to see if we can make a third down manageable. Oh no, linebacker played that well. I really don't like this at all, but here we are. Here we go. Jig, please hang on. Fourth and two. Oh no. Fourth and two. We are giving this football to the king. I believe we need two yards, dude. Two yards. The handoff, huge hole. Xavier Worthy with the block. Derrick Henry in the plus territory. I freaking love it. I've tried audible in the play twice. I'm just gonna run the ball again. I'm just gonna stick to my bread and butter and that, my friends, is exactly why. Although I am gonna go up tempo here and try a cheeky little screen pass. Got it off. Hold your blocks. There we go, dude. Just don't fumble. Just don't fumble. Get the freak down. We're in the red zone. We have got to have a touchdown here. We give it to Taji up the middle. They blitz. We're going to bounce it outside. Nice little move there. Going to take the ball down to the five. That was an incredible play, although I'm kind of depressed because freaking Chig's hurt. Oh, just don't be bad, please. He's like the only guy I can actually count on to catch the ball. We got our main man back in there, though. King Henry to take the lead late in the third quarter. The conference championship game. They blitz has a great play call. We're not going anywhere. On Honestly, don't like this at all. I'm gonna take off with my, my quarterback. Just don't fumble, don't fumble. Get in the end zone. The, hold on a second. I don't think he got past the two yard line. Like I'm happy and all, but I, I feel like Daryl is about to come out and ruin my day. And, and now my day's even ruined more. Gosh dang, Chickaconquo, broken ribs. Yep, there's the booth review. See everything against me. I hate Daryl, hate him. Yeah, dude, he didn't even get past like the one yard line. Oh gosh, here we have it, man. I do not like it at all. Don't like this one bit. Oh, I feel like the slander, the out route has got to be open. Burks are worthy here. Burks are worthy. Burks wide open. Touchdown Titans. That is huge. PAT is good. I'm not going to lie. For a split second, I thought about going for two, but I just couldn't do it. Big, big drive. If we can get a stop, that would be mass. Like, even holding the Chiefs to a field goal here would give me the same vibes as the pick six. No way Pacheco breaks that tackle. That should have been negative one yard rush. He gets seven. I guess that's what happens when you're a 99 overall. Run the ball again. Left side. We're all over it. All over it. Third down and short. What are the odds? We actually force him to a three and out. I think my best course of action here is to cover short. And we actually knock the ball out of the receiver's hands. We are getting the ball back. We force the Chiefs and the Andros Reed to a three and out. I am speechless. Like, even a field goal on this drive would be jai freaking enormous. Great blocks on the edge. Allows us to get a first down after a nasty juke move. We're running the ball extremely well in this game. And I don't want to put this game on the back of my young quarterback. So I think I'm just going to continue to pound the rock here, follow my blocks, and get three, four, five yards carry that my friends is gonna take us into the fourth quarter of this ball game i'm stressed out not gonna lie actually gonna go back to Derek here they blitzed their linebackers there was nowhere to go third and seven that's not good i don't care who you are i don't care what your political beliefs are just get open just get the frick open please 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 bang dude Bing, bing, bing! That puts us in field goal range. So, like, honestly, I'm gonna play this so conservative, bro. We are six minutes from the Super Bowl. Of course I am. Of course I am. And maybe we can score a touchdown here. You know what? I'm actually gonna get Braylon Allen involved here. Second and inches. Gotta get it right. Got to. Got to. Yep, easy money. First down and more! Let's go, Braylon! Let's get everybody involved here. Now we got Russell Dockett in the ball game, the youngster. Need eight yards, Russell. Need eight yards. 
got three. Now we're giving this thing to the king like we probably should have from the very beginning. A little stretch play. Don't really like the design, but heck, we're rolling with it. And I, I never in a million years should have called that play. That was bad. You might get frustrated with me, but I'm going to play this so conservative. So conservative. To the point where I think I'm actually just going to call a run here. Like, I would much rather just, just kick a field goal than have to stress out. And we're going to have to kick the field goal, but I will take a 10-point lead with four minutes left to go. I'm like kind of afraid for a block kick here, but Dick of the Kicker's not going to let me down. Never. Never. And don't forget, in Season 1, we were beating the Ravens by 11 in the playoffs late in the ball game. So, like, this game is far far from over. And now they are probably inevitably going to score in this drive, but the goal is just to make them dink and dunk and chew some clock. Oh. Or, or maybe get a pick! Doing it. Bringing pressure. Bringing pressure. And I hope to God we get to him where it's going to be a bad play. And he hung on to it. That's Rasheed Rice, 94 overall for you. You know what? That is exactly what I was talking about. Let him do that all day, although he got out of bounds, which kind of defeats the purpose. Oh, here we go with this. Third down and four. Obviously, they're going to go for it if they don't pick it up. Mah what on earth? What on earth? What on earth is a touchdown? Huh? Wh where was the coverage? First of all, who was Harbor? Secondly, what what's the deal with that? Huh? Well, like I said, didn't want them to score quick, yet here we are. Golly, dude. If I choke this game away, I will never forgive myself. So, hope God we don't do that. I think we need, like, two first downs. Two first downs and we can clutch this up. First play, huge. Just take it to the house. Take it to the house. Tajay Spears. Tajay Spears. Cut inside. Boys, just like that. Down to the 28 which is a pretty good start to the drive. That, my friends, is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Oh, man, so close. We are so close. If anything's got to make sure they have to use all their timeouts. God, those linebackers are playing that so well and, and great. Our best receiver just got hurt. There is just no way. Please tell me. Please tell me. He's not out for a long extended period of time. Second down and eight. Got to be great. And hand it off to Derek. And he's going to get a few of those yards back and, and great. Xavier Worthy, our best receiver by far, dislocated shoulder. Oh, man, this might be a mistake with third and two. To clean. Oh, we, I didn't even think about it. We got we wasted one of our timeouts because of an injury. So they still have two of their timeouts. Oh, my, even if we get this, it's not over, I don't think. I'm giving it to Derek. Giving it to Derek. We need two yards, and we got it. We freaking got it. I don't know, though, if we have enough time to just chew the clock. I'm actually going to be a silly, silly boy and hand this off to my fullback, which went absolutely nowhere. I'm actually liking this look a lot. I am loving this look. Oh, no. A little bit more speed on Derek, and that's a freaking touchdown. If we end up losing this game because I had to call a timeout because of an injury instead of the Chiefs having to burn one of theirs, I'm going to be so salty. So absolutely salty, but I'm going to let this play drain all the way down. Oh, if we can get the 12 yards, that'd be great. We might, we might, we might, we might. Tajay, oh, he's so close. I think I am actually going to go for this. I think that's the smart thing to do here. And without a shadow of a doubt, you guys know is coming in this ball game. Derek freaking Henry. We'll be able to run this play with about 20 seconds left. So, like, they have no timeouts. They have to go, like, probably 60 yards to be in field goal range with no timeouts. I trust in Derrick Henry. The story is about to write itself to send us into the Super Bowl. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's just go ahead and call game. Is that is going to do it? Oh, what a playoff run this has been in five seconds officially in season three the tennessee titans are heading back to the super bowl we get our revenge over patrick mahomes i'm a happy boy and we are officially one win away from getting the first Super Bowl in Tennessee Titans history. Gosh, that feels so good. And as you can tell, we had a completely 
different game plan this time around. Barely threw the ball deep down the field. I just needed to chew the clock, run the ball, not let Mahomes and his offense be on the field a lot. And somehow, some way, it worked in our favor. And we got the dub against Patrick freaking Mahomes. Like, look at this playoff run. We got a little bit of a breather win against the Ravens. Here we got a two-point victory over the Chargers and then a three-point victory over the Chiefs. And now all that's left to be seen is whether or not we're taking on the Falcons or the Vikings in the Super Bowl in 2026. I think the Falcons won like 14 games this season, so I'd probably rather not them. We have an injury. Chig is out for the Super Bowl. We have our left guard might be out for the Super Bowl, and our right guard's out. So that's not optimal. Here we are, fellas. Moment of truth. In the Super Bowl, we are going to be taking on the Atlanta freaking Falcons. So I thought they won like 14 games this season. That might have been last year. They went 9-8. and eight. There's no way we get this far and lose the Super Bowl to a 9-8 and eight team. Even more upgrades to our middle linebacker, who's an 85 overall as a rookie. That is awesome. Wild. Just who would have thought this second round pick would have turned into this in literally his rookie season? What would a win mean to me? Bro, just the beginning. We still have six more to win if we get this one. And of course, with this being Super Bowl week, we need to do some hardcore scouting here. Oh, great. 99 rated B. John Robinson for my team that can't tackle well. 98 Jesse Bates. They got locked down corner. Drake Mays up to a 95 overall, as is Kyle Pitts. Drake London is almost a 90. This squad is loaded. It's very top heavy, but still absolutely loaded. Well, fellas, it is time to hopefully solidify myself in Tennessee Titan folklore as the coach that brought the Titans their first ever Super Bowl in franchise history. It would be so freaking clutch if we could keep the Falcons from actually scoring on this first drive. Not gonna lie, I am so terrified of Bijan. Like, bet. Pick six on him. Oh, imagine a pick six on the first play again. On a run again. Quick little pass out of the backfield, and we're gonna be all over that. Setting up for a third and nine. This would be massive. Wide open, come on, man. You can't do me like that. We have about 17 tight ends on the field here, so I wonder what they're calling. Bijan, take that, buddy. He's not thinking about it. We faced two consecutive 99 overall running backs. What are we doing, brother? There's Kyle Pitts with his first of probably 20 catches of the day. Come on, please. So open, I don't get it. As long as you've been, fellas, just don't break a field goal here, and I'll be a happy, happy camper. Run it with Bijan. I think we're all over that. We, oh, he's still, how did he get four yards on that? What do you mean? Rain the ball. Oh no, it's an option. Make him fumble. That would have been big, that would have been big, but I'll take it. Here we are with this crap, third and six. I hope they just don't get my hopes up. Pick, 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 take it to the house, take it to the house. Not quite, not quite at all, but boys, that I cannot even begin to describe how big of a play that is from our former undrafted free agent that we've kept around for this long. What was Drake May thinking there? Anything but a safety here would be nice. He's so open. Please, 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 please. Trey Lindbergh gets this out of our own end zone. That was, that was the most open I've seen a receiver all year. Again, again. Oh, come on, offensive line. We're going to run that again because that was too open not to try it again and we're gonna have to dump this up to Tajay and he can't get past 90 overall Jesse Bates third down and eight got to be great I'm just gonna chunk this deep Xavier Worthy please 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 bang if all else fails man just chunk it as far as you can to this absolute electric legend can't let my guard down but boys I'd be lying if I didn't say the vibes are extremely high right now pressure in his face. Drake May. Ooh, I thought that was a fumble for a second, but Drake May, he's stressing back there in the pocket. Oh, we hung on to the out one, but hey, we have another third down. Imagine a three and out right here. Since he's been all sketchy in the pocket, we are going to bring some pressure here and see if we can force him to an air and throw it. No, it's just wide freaking open. Come on. We're over that. All over that. No way. Going nowhere, and they have their best offensive lineman get hurt. That's always great. His own players running into him. He does not look happy. We'll try something a little different here and try and bring pressure from the cornerback position. 
That's a pick all day. Pick all day. <gasps> Come on, Cooper. Third down and 13, man. This would make me happy. It's a screen pass. And he threw it right into our defensive line. And boys, we're getting the ball back with a chance to what seems like for the first time ever in this playoff run. Take a two-possession lead. Need to make sure I don't throw a pick six or anything because this is like the point where I do something dumb like that. So I need to just stay calm and collected and try and take a two-possession lead here. Last play of the first quarter. Nah, nothing too special. I have to say, though, out of this entire playoff run, this has been our best start by far. I mean, I guess pick six in the first play of the game is a pretty good start, but you get what I'm saying. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Hack it, please, brother. Hack it goes up, and it hits him in the hands, and he drops it. Keep in mind, our starting tight end chigs out of the game with an injury, so if that was him, man, he might have very well caught that. Let's see what we can do here. That pass enough, trailing. Oh, we're gonna have to punt the ball. Thank God we have the best punter in all of football, and we cannot get off the line of scrimmage. We made a decent little return here, although our coverage is pretty solid. They gotta go 70 yards to score. What are the odds we can keep them out of the end zone a third consecutive drive? Honestly, personally, I, I don't think the odds are too high. Pick, 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 dude, just hang on to the ball. Oh no, oh no. I am using the wrong guy here. I probably could have got the quarterback if I didn't mess it up. But hey, it's another third down and short. Can we do this thing one more play, man? I'm in cover underneath. And he just, he, that's just not even fair. Hold on a second, bro. Defensive coordinator's got to be fired. Why is Jeffrey Simmons covering Kyle Pitts on a crucial third down in the Super Bowl? Come on. Eventually, man, eventually this man is playing with fire. We've got to get another pick. Can we please do this thing one more time? Force another punt. You'll see a happy boy if so. Gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. What are we doing? Yes! Yes! Cooker, take it to the house or not. But that's the second time. That is the second time Drake May has thrown an interception close to their own end zone. And boys, I am not complaining because I'm telling you that one was due. It's about time we had an opposing quarterback put up an absolute stinker performance because the last three games, man, that just wasn't even fair. Let's see if we can actually score and take advantage of that. It's not looking good. What can we draw up here, fellas? Not again. Not again. Please hit him in stride. Xavier Worthy. First down to the 27. This man, this might be the best draft pick in, in franchise history. I'm telling you right now, the Falcons are not liking five wide. I don't know why they have a great secondary, but yeah, here we are. Hack it. Please. Over the middle. That was almost picked off. Oh, man, if we could let that a little bit more inside, Maisie. We're going to stick with it here. Uh, might have been a bad decision. You know what? Just dump it off. Dump it off to the running back. We're going to get very, very close to that first down marker. And now it's time for the first ever Derrick Henry Super Bowl carry. Third down of one. Of course he's going to pick it off. Actually going to run a little hurry up here and just keep pounding the rock. Old school Tennessee Titan football here, baby. It's going to only get us about, like, two yards. And, and our, our guard got hurt, so that's just never, never optimal. It's never good when they run straight to the locker room. Keep pounding the pigskin, brother. And that, my friends, is exactly why Derrick Henry, 75 overall, with his first ever Super Bowl touchdown. Boys, this is exactly why we brought him back. We had to see these scenes, man. Surely Drake May's not going to throw a third pick. They're scared to throw the ball. Good thing at this point, man, we are absolutely clamping down on Bijan. Like, Jalen Warren has got to be some sort of alien. Two-minute warning, man, this has been the best start to a playoff game yet, and I'm glad it came in the Super Bowl. All over it. Oh, a split second too later. That would have been his third pick of the half. Play action pass. I kind of bit on it. Come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Drake May is playing with fire. Can we actually get the ball back? No, we can't. Ah, oh, it's too good to be true. Too freaking good to be true. Gosh, I for a second thought that was pick three. And now I have to say, it's going to be absolutely wild if after this half, it's only a touchdown game. Because I feel like we've outplayed them so well. And there's Kyle Pitts wide freaking open. Let's just hold him to a field goal here, please. No! 
the Darnell Mooney Super Bowl anytime touchdown score. We do have 33 seconds left with all three timeouts. Like, even a field goal here would be absolutely massive. At the same time, though, like, I don't want a catastrophic mistake. Traylon is so open. He's so open. He's so open. He's so open. And he hangs on to it this time. What a dime from Maisie. Worthy. Off the snap. Lead him inside. Xavier Worthy just like that. In two plays, we get it done. I hope the Falcons are the ball here. I would love to get a pick and a free field goal. Of course, they're going to run it. They're scared. They're scared because Drake May is not doing too well. Falcons being wild. They are being wild right now. In exhibit A. Oh, man, they're actually calling a Hail Mary here. And honestly, part of me is sort of scared. No way. I'm there. That's me. All me. We got to pick again. That's pick number three of the half. Like, it doesn't really mean much, but that can't be good for May's morale. Oh, my gosh, fellas. What a half of football. What a freaking half. Two more quarters, and we get our first of what will hopefully be seven Super Bowl rings. And this one has not been easy. Oh, I didn't think about the fact that we get the ball to start the half, so I think it might be smart to just kind of play slow. Try to chew a little bit of clock, but also at least get a field goal to make it a three possession game. Well, not the optimal start to the half. Big hole. Not quite enough for the first mix to the third and short. I don't know about it, but we're going to run it. I don't know about it, but we're going to run it. Somebody run up the field. Or maybe... Oh, what a throw! What a freaking throw! Maisie Man has got some crazy arm talent. Run it again. Play action. Nobody... Maybe. Maybe. And he caught it, and he got both feet inbounds. Traylon Burks having a freaking career game here. Spears up the middle. Gets about three. Trying a little toss here, and there's so much space. Can't get away from the 98 overall, but boys, that's another first down. Makes for a first and goal. Second down and goal. You guys know exactly what we're calling here. Derrick Henry. We're just going to run a dive here, but we'll try this power. Good blocks, huge hole, broken tackle, pristine Derrick Henry touchdown. As that gives us a three touchdown lead, his second of the Super Bowl. And this is just freaking, this is poetry. I mean, this is just another iconic Derrick Henry touchdown, isn't it? After all the scratching and clawing we did to make our way here, I'm telling you, it feels good to have a pretty respectable lead in the Super Bowl. Although, Bijan. Just like that, got the ball around midfield. Now that's great, Bijan has a red glowing X underneath his body. <sighs> you know what, I'll take that all day. He's slow dink and dunk, chew clock. I thought they were gonna give it to him. Oh, wide open, not good, at least he made the tackle. Oh, flats wide open, Kyle Pitts got him about five yards away. Bijan, we got him stuffed. Fullback dive. That is definitely not what I expected. I thought he fumbled for a second. Third and goal. Boys, we get this stop. It is going to be hard for these Falcons to come back in the first quarter. Although, I guess they're, they're kind of due to come back. Crazy after what happened to them in real life. It's a toss. I'm all over it. Bijan, he has stopped. What a tackle. And they surely are going to go for this, right? Oh, boys, here we freaky go for the ball game. I'm actually just going to sell out for the run. If they throw it, they throw it. It is what it is. Let's see what happens here. Uh, anticlimactic, anticlimactic into the fourth quarter. I'm still doing it, brother. We're guessing run up the middle. This could be a mistake. He's audible, which means he, he probably knows what we're doing here. It's a run. No signs to play action pass, and he's wide open. That's a touchdown. It is what it is. It is what it is. I, although, I don't know how the frick we didn't get to the quarterback when we blitzed everybody and guessed run, but hey, still had a two-touchdown lead. Second and six. There's a whole first down, which is pretty big at this point. All they place to everybody, which is not optimal. It's gonna set up for a third down and long. Hackett, bro, you dropped a big pass earlier. I need you to come up big here. Hackett, wide open off the line of scrimmage, and our quarterback overthrows him. That is just not what we needed. Now our right tackle's down, so that just sucks. Oh, boys, this is the Super Bowl, so you just knew it was never gonna be super, super easy. Surely I don't find a way to screw this up right. Surely. What even was that play? And great, now a right tackle's out with broken ribs, so that's just not what you want to see, you know, when the Super Bowl's coming down to the wire. Please, ooh, it's so close to pick number four. Our fella get Nancy again here on third down along. I'm gonna bring pressure and hopefully mess with Drake May's noggin. 
in Pig, Pig McCreary. Boys, that very, very well might have done it. And there's another injury to kind of, you know, to, to, to deflate our good vibes. He's getting on the court. That's not good. Give me a third Derrick Henry Super Bowl touchdowns. That would be so good for my soul right now. Oh, getting close. Third down and three. Huge hole, dude. I absolutely freaking love it. See a hole? Derrick Henry, so close, dude. We need it. We've got to have it. We have it, fellas. Could potentially be the last carry of Derrick Henry's career. Very well could retire after this game. Probably won't be a tight net for this season. Let's let his last carry be a touchdown in the Super Bowl. And, boys, of course he gets it done. That, dude... I'm crying. I'm crying. Oh, it's almost pick number five, dude. Thank God we got ourselves a Drake May stinker. That's pick number five. It should have been. I mean, he, honest to God, I could have picked like 10 balls off this game. Oh my gosh, that could have been a touchdown. Fourth down and 10. Let's lock this bad boy up, fellas. Bring in pressure once again. And it should have been a pick, but you know what? I don't freaking care. Not another one. Not another one. Derek all the way down to the 18. We are feeding him the rest of this ball game. Music to my freaking ears, dude. And I great now. Now our right guard's out. Touchdown number four for Derrick Henry. I just, I'm just such a happy boy. I am such a happy boy right now. There's a sack, dude. I love toying with this guy. Great mate is not like pressure. Oh no, not like, not like that. No. Oh, that just. You know what? I don't care, dude. You're losing by 21 points. Onside kick. Of course, Traylon Burks recovers. Can we score here? Got close. Did we go for a fifth there. Can we touch down to truly send them off into the sunset? That's, dude, he's 75 overall. He's not so supposed to be doing that. Dude, I got, I'm not gonna lie, I've got to have this last touch be a touchdown. It has to be. Without a shadow of a doubt, this ball is going to Derrick Henry. I don't care if he's in triple coverage here, fellas. Please. Please. Please go up and make the catch. There's one second left. Oh, please, dude. Please, please let the script write itself. I'm begging. Absolutely begging. I gotta get it off. It's, it's in double coverage. And he, he dropped the ball, which kind of sucks. Which actually sucks a lot. But, fellas. Fellas. 42 to 21, the Tennessee Titans win their first Super Bowl in franchise history in complete dominating fashion. We send Lamar Jackson packing, we send Justin Herbert packing, we send Patrick Mahomes packing, all to get a well deserved absolute blowout victory for the first time in franchise history and Derrick Henry wins Super Bowl MVP which is a perfect finish potentially to his career but as you guys know as hard as we work for this and as sweet as these scenes are I'm telling you boys this is just the beginning what a send off for the big man oh it just makes me so happy now did derrick henry actually retire i guess you'll have to find out next episode now hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you're loving the series if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel also you can click right here to watch another episode of the series